<laughs> All right. <laughs> no, it's an asterisk. Woo wee. All right, Soapstone, how are we doing tonight? Boston Joey's in the house. Zach, the artist, is here. Uh, headlining tonight, sitting over, warming a booth up over there, is Five Burritos. Give it up for Five Burritos. He's going to be on the lineup tonight. Yeah. Yeah. And opening up the show tonight uh, is our friend Nona96. Give it up for Nona. Woo! Nona. Nona. Yeah. Yeah, good good things happening, good times tonight for sure. Uh, I'm going to be your host, and I am Aaron, the unemployed alcoholic. Uh, give it up for yourselves <laughs> for being here. This is this is awesome. Clap, this clap, is clap, absolutely. Clap, clap, yeah. <laughs> Joe Schmo over here doing the clap. <laughs> all right, all right, good deal. Glad you're here, Joe. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Well, this here. is. Uh, yeah. Well, this is a lot of fun. Uh, <laughs> you guys are looking good. World Citizen looking good. Those earrings are great. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> a friend of mine just told me that I was looking good. A friend of mine told me that I looked voluptuous. How nice. Which made me think. Voluptuous. <laughs> nice. That means you're yeah. thick. It, well, it, it, actually, what it makes me think is that he doesn't know what that word means. <laughs> yeah. i'm sure yeah. you're thick i'm sure, I'm sure. <laughs> and i don't know what that word means oh man all right well this is this is good yeah i uh i realized that i've done a couple of dumb things recently anybody else do anything dumb recently Phaser <laughs> pointer, uh, your hand went up way too quick. <laughs> You're like me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've done a couple dumb things recently. Uh, I ordered a candle online. Yeah, yeah. That uh, <laughs> that wasn't all it was cracked up to be. <laughs> yeah, I ordered uh, winter hearth scent, and I think what I got was smoldering ashtray. <laughs> yeah. yeah that was wild it uh, did not smell good uh, i should have just bought the three pack and in addition to smoldering ashtray probably gotten like uh maybe dumpster fire and dirty diaper <laughs> oh my goodness oh, that's not good. kimberly ann you it sounds like you've had those candles. Oh, I, you know, you try them and they're just not so cute, right? Yeah. The dumpster yeah. one, not my favorite. Not the, the, the dun oh, you've had the dumpster. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sometimes comedy shows can turn into a dumpster fire, but that won't be the case tonight. Not today. <laughs> not today. Not today. Not today, comedy. Not on my watch. <laughs> That's right. That's right. No, no. So yeah, this is good. I've done some other dumb stuff. Uh, I decided that I was going to take apart a clock and fix it. Uh, nice. That was dumb. Yeah. That's oh. how I learned that I don't know how clocks work. <laughs> yeah, very cool. Very cool. Well, this is this is fun. Uh, I recently went to the doctor, and uh, that's not a dumb thing. Uh, that's a pretty <laughs> smart thing to do. Uh, yeah. Smart yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. The dumb thing was I told my doctor that I'm a comedian. <laughs> and uh, yeah, yeah. Then I got 20 joke, minutes of his man. best uh, stand up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. He did a tight 20 during the exam. I'm like, you know, this is not why I'm here. This, this is the most expensive do uh, comedy show I've ever been to. <laughs> Get him on but i gotta be oh, honest uh, uh he had some pretty good material <laughs> it was funny a lot of a lot of material on broccoli i gotta say you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. and then he uh then is uh <laughs> the grand finale of the appointment you know i'm i'm uh i recently turned 47 and he, and he says hey uh you you've got to wait until you're 50 in order to get that uh that rectal Ooh. exam and then he told me again hey you gotta wait until you're 50 to get that rectal <laughs> exam and then he told me a third time 
You gotta wait till you're fifty. <laughs> Stop asking me That's for a rectal right. exam. Stop it. Yeah, I'm not yeah. 50. I, I'm like, what is it about me that's like I'm not getting out of here without a prostate exam? You know, <laughs> <laughs> take yeah. me out to dinner first. <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. It coughed three times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyway, the prostate exam went fine. <laughs> he sent flowers yeah. the next day. Yeah, oh yeah. Gosh. <laughs> yeah. Boy, on the way into the doctor's office, uh, I run into a interesting situation. I, I overheard uh, two deaf people arguing. Uh, yeah, and <laughs> I, I have to say, uh, it was way louder than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, it was. Uh, uh, a lot of noises back and forth, a lot of waving hands. I, at first, I thought it was just uh, two people that were not very good at karate, uh, but it was indeed uh, uh, two deaf people uh, arguing. Uh, I don't speak sign language, so I have no idea what they were arguing about. <laughs> But I do know that she was winning. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my. Man, uh, speaking oh my of uh, her winning, are you guys uh, ready for uh, your first comedian tonight? Yes. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was yeah. you. Oh well, I, I'm no. This this was just this was just the warm up, man. The show hasn't even started yet. That doctor so if, joke it, killed. The doctor joke killed. Yeah, yeah. I'm still uh, hurting from it, but <laughs> <laughs> give it up for random man I'm up there with the rim shots in the tech booth. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Uh, we're gonna bring your first comedian to the stage. If you've been around the soapstone at all, you've seen her at the open mics. She has just been tearing it up. Give it up for our friend Nona96. Come on up, Nona. 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 Yes. Nona. Yeah. Woo. Hey, everybody. Hey. hey, guys. How's everybody doing? Good. Woo. Good. Woo. Doing good. Good. I'm excited to be here. I can't believe I'm here. You know, easy to tell yeah. people. I know I'm, I'm not funny, but I sure am funny looking. So I got to make up for it one way, right? <laughs> <laughs> all righty. Is so anybody in here married? Everybody in here? You know, we all have a spouse and I'm married. All right. Now, we all love Divorce. our spouses dearly. We love our spouses dearly. Well, you know, Divorce. if she ever goes bungee jumping, we all know she's going to bungee jump for joy because she's I divorced. Bungee jumped. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm not laughs> well, you see, recently, like, I love my husband. I really do. But he can be a joke just sometimes. He's in the living room, right? He's watching TV. It's on mute. But he's yelling his lungs out. He's like, oh, my God. What are you doing, man? Just run. Get out of there. And I'm like, hey, are you watching a horror movie? I want to join him. He's like, yeah. I'm like, is this something new? He's like, no, nah, it's a bit old. I'm like, what's it called? He looks at me and says, it's our wedding video. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, he thinks he's a funny man. He thinks he's funny. With me. <laughs> so I thought I'd be funny and I thought I'd prank him in a way. He goes into the restroom and he starts almost falling. And I'm like, Honey, are you okay? What's wrong? He just picks up a bra and he's like, what is this? And I'm like, ha that's my booby trap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he thinks, he thinks he knows what he's doing, but I got him back. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. So if you don't want to go on to my dad, <laughs> to my dad jokes and ginger jokes. All right, do you guys know why gingers love buying Kias? Why? Why? You know why? why? Because it's the only why? way they'll ever have a soul. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Alright, you guys know right. a man and a blonde were talking, right? They're talking. And you know, he, she can hear he has an accent. She asked him, she's like, Oh, he's like, I'm Italian. She's like, Oh, and the blonde says, I speak Italian too. The man's interested. He's like, Oh, that's really cool. Can I hear some Italian? She's like, Yeah. She's like, Pepperoni. <laughs> Spaghetti. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> you know, speaking of blondes, we and going back to the gingers, you know, everybody here has seen Harry Potter, right? We've all seen Ron and his family, the Weasleys. We all know they're gingers. I don't think that movie is as realistic. It's really unrealistic, if you ask me. I mean, when does a ginger have two friends, let alone one? You know, that sounds very unrealistic, you know, <laughs> I don't think that's, 
that's a realistic thing. And you know, guys, what's the difference between a ginger girl and a vampire? You guys want to know? One of them what? bursts into flames in the sunlight, and the other one is a vampire. <laughs> 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 yeah, so what do you guys call a ginger whenever they get mad? What? Ginger snap. Ginger snaps. <laughs> this is blonde, right? She's in stranded in the desert with her brunette and her redhead friend. I mean, another unrealistic joke, if you ask me. Another redhead with two friends. Anyways, so they're stranded on a deserted island, and one of them, you know, finds a genie lamp. So they each rub it, a genie pops out, and they each get a wish. The brunette goes first. She's like, you know what? I wish I could go back home to my family. The genie says, boom, granted. Woo, come back here. The genie says, boom, granted. She goes back home with her family. The redhead steps in. She's like, I wish I could go back home. Boom, wish granted. The blonde comes up, and she just gets sad and says, oh, you know, I wish my friends were here. <laughs> <laughs> so this is, so, I'm just blonde, right? She walks into the store. I feel, I'm, I'm not kicking anybody down for being blonde. I just love these jokes. She goes into the store. She points at the corner. She says, hey, sir, I want to buy that TV you have there in the corner. The man says, nope, I'm sorry. I'm not going to sell to blonde. She's like, okay. She comes back the next day. This time she's dressed up as a brunette. She says, sir, I want to buy that nice TV in the corner. He says, no, I'm sorry, ma'am. I don't sell the blondes. She goes frustrated. She comes back the next day, this time as a redhead. She's like, sir, how are you doing today? I would like to buy that TV in the corner. He says, no, ma'am, I'm sorry. I don't sell the blondes. She gets frustrated. She's like, I'm a redhead. How do you know I'm a blonde? He says, because, ma'am, that's not a television. That's a microwave. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> so if you guys have heard of little johnny <laughs> if you guys heard of little johnny everybody here knows yeah. who that troublemaker is right we all love little johnny all right well here's little johnny he's talking with his friend at school and his friend tells him he's like hey he's like every adult has a just a dark secret he's like you just point up at them and say i know everything and Johnny's like, all right, I'm going to try this on my mom and dad. I don't think they're saints. They don't have secrets. So he goes up to his mom after school and says, Mom, I know everything. And the mom freaks out, gives him $20 and says, please don't tell your father. All right. He says, okay, cool. He waits for his dad to get home from work. The dad gets home. Johnny points at him and says, I know everything. And the dad's like, please, please don't tell your mother. Takes out $40, gives him to Johnny. Johnny's really happy. He's like, yay, awesome. I'm going to try this on another adult. So the next morning, Johnny's walking to school. He sees a mailman. He points at him and says, I know everything. The mailman just drops his mail and says, well, come give your daddy a big old hug, son. <laughs> 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 All right. Going back to marriage and relationships, here's Dave and his wife. You know, both of them live together to celebrating 20 years. So Dave's wife is like, you know what, honey? Let's go celebrate at a strip club. All right. Dave's like, yeah, we're going to go. Heck yeah, you know, my wife's going to take me to a strip club. So they arrive at the strip club. You got the doorman. And he says, hey, Dave, nice to see you, man. Welcome back. And the wife looks at Dave. And she's like, excuse me, welcome back. What does this mean? And Dave's like, no, 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 honey. It's just the way we have of greeting each other. We're on the same bowling team. She's like, all right. So they go in, you know, they get seated down. The waitress comes up to Dave and says, hey, Dave, you want the usual? A glass of red wine? And brings him his glass of red wine. The wife looks at him like, uh, yeah, no, I don't, you know, how is this a coincidence? He says, no, 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 honey. We share lanes together at the bowling alley. You know, her team plays my team. Okay, but then a stripper comes up, gets next to Dave and says, hey, Dave, how you doing? Same usual dance. And the wife at this time is furious. She's like, there is no way this is, you know, going to happen multiple times. She gets into the taxi and there goes Dave after her. You know, he's like, honey, honey, I promise it's a case of mistaken identity. You know, this is another guy named Dave. You know, but the wife doesn't care. She just keeps screaming her head off. And the taxi driver looks at Dave and says, Hey, Dave, looks like you picked a real live one tonight. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'm not sure how long I've been up here. I don't want to take up the whole stage. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and move it on to the next person. Thank you, guys. <laughs> yeah, we're great. Yay, good job. 96, everybody. Yay. Yeah. 
You know, uh, <laughs> Nona, I asked her to describe her comedy uh, style, and she said, it's all dad jokes. <laughs> <laughs> and I think they were good dad jokes. You guys ready for your uh, headliner tonight? Yay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. All yeah, right. All right. Yeah, you know, don't be confused with uh, Five Guys Hamburgers, because that is not who we have up. We have five burritos. <laughs> five, come on up. Welcome, man. What's up? Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> what is up, everybody? Have a good night? Yeah. Yep. Heck yeah. yeah. That's why I just got the uh, the VR headset. I'm really excited about it, you know? I was really excited to get into the virtual reality stuff. And the first thing I downloaded was a virtual reality uh, uh, driving simulator. And I started driving in L.A. and I got pulled over. <laughs> and when I got pulled over, the cop like talked to me for a bit and he let me off with a warning. And I said, I thought about it. I'm like, damn, I got the white Oculus. Well, <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. My name is, um, I'm stage name right here is Five Burritos, but my real name is Hector. Um, I'm Mexican, but I sound white because I like to get warnings when I get pulled over. <laughs> now that's funny. <laughs> and it was fun because uh I'm I, was, I live out here in California. I live in Orange County and uh I moved to Iowa when I was a sophomore in high school. And I was the only Mexican kid in the whole town. And I think the only reason why I ever got any dates was because I they knew for a fact that I wasn't related to them. <laughs> but it was fun you know after a while i spent like about 12 years in the midwest uh, i moved back out here and i moved out here what they say about california women is totally true they are so beautiful every single time i went outside i fell in love like 20 times a day if i had a dollar for every woman i found attractive eventually over time i had enough money for them to find me attractive <laughs> when i first moved out here you know i really tried you know i tried like you know dating i tried to like do a bunch of different kind of stuff and i really wanted to get a sugar mama but at this point you guys should all settle for a sweet and low mama <laughs> i'll go for an aspartame mama i don't care man it's i'm broke it's sad <laughs> No, that's fine on here. Uh, I just started dating. I have a girlfriend now. Uh, my girlfriend thinks I'm gay, which is weird because my boyfriend thinks I'm straight. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, before you know, before I dated her, it was really rough because like I was like single and I was in my 30s. And when you're single in your 30s, and you think about like you know dating and having kids, you eventually get used to the thought of having uh, being a stepdad someday. You know. And I really looked forward to the first fight I'd have with my stepkids because you have to be really quick right away. So the first fight I get into them when their mom's not there, I'd go, I hate you. You're not even my real kids. And I just run into my room. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, could Hector really do that? Seriously? Wow, he beat us to the punch. <laughs> <laughs> but doing comedy is really fun, especially out here in California. You get a lot of different like venues that want to do you for comedy stuff. Uh, I went to a bris. I got booked at a bris. And if you're not Jewish, a bris is an event where they circumcise the baby and then they name the baby. And I did the bris. It was great. It was awesome. But I'm never doing it again because the guys cut me off at the end. <laughs> hey, oh. oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh. you know but going out here you know just trying to live life you know you're you you date you know you date people you're looking for that number one person you know you're looking for the person to spend the rest of your life with and uh sometimes people just get really like crappy you know i went to a bar this one time and i saw this lady at the bar and she was pregnant and she ended up taking a shot and at first i was really upset but i'm like you know what it's not that bad she is drinking for two <laughs> oh my out here for work i'm a massage therapist and i just started my own business and nice. i've been doing it for about yeah thank you 
I've been doing it for about 12 years, and the biggest thing finally happened that scared me. I accidentally touched my client's eggplant emoji. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Yeah. And I was really nervous. I was really nervous. I was like, oh, my God, no, this is crazy. But we talked about it. And we talked it through. It was really nice. She was super cool about it, you guys. <laughs> 50 bucks extra. <laughs> the cool part is though, I have a date next weekend now, so I'm really excited for that one. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Well, this is fun because it's doing a lot of really cool virtual reality stuff. It's great. They say that if you're doing comedy and you're really scared, you have to imagine the audience naked. Well, I'm, if you're scared watching me doing comedy, I'm naked doing comedy, so that's pretty fine. Just imagine that one. You don't have, have to be nervous. <laughs> I got invited to do a show at a, uh, at a nudist colony, and it was really weird because, like, you know, it's really awkward, you know, being in front of other people and they're naked and all stuff. And uh, I went into the office. I was waiting for the manager, Paul, and I went to sit down. I sat on, like, a little love seat, you know? It's like a little like leather love seat, and it's all brown. I'm like, dude, what the heck is this? And then I fell, and I heard it making noise. It was freaking Paul. He's just huge, laying naked on the floor. <laughs> it was terrible. I was just like, dude, ew, get this thing off of me. Ugh. <laughs> I, was, I don't know how much time I got up here, but you guys have been a lot of fun. Thank you very much for coming out. Look forward to doing these things again. You guys take it easy. Have a good night. Five burritos, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Performance in VR. <laughs> yeah, man, oh man, what a great show, huh? Did you guys have fun? Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, all right. Well, this was a lot of fun. Uh, man, oftentimes we have a musical guest that yeah, sure. uh, yeah, totally. opens Please the do. show. Uh, but we had That's our me. musical. Oh, Joe, are you a musician? <laughs> Thank you. Are you a musician, Joe? Uh, oh, that's yes. That's. This means yes. Oh, oh. oh you're, you're laggy. You're laggy. I'm lagging? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that, oh. I'll tell you what. You, I mean, like, we did not talk about this, but do you want to close us out with a song? This is not planned, by the way. It's not planned. Joe, go for it. All right. I know, right? Come on, Come on Joe. All right. I'm Closing the show out. Our absolute surprise musical guest. Joe Schmo from 1990. <laughs> uh, very nice. Do I have, very nice. Do I have any requests out there? Any requests? That's when you were born, wasn't it? 1990. That's for you. You. Wop. I got sunshine <laughs> on a cloudy day. Come on, say with me. When it's cold yeah, outside. I got sunshine. I got the money. Unless you want, unless you want some Spanish music. Que locura yeah. fue enamorarme yeah. de ti. No. Suavemente. No, no, it's mala yeah. gente. Besame. Que quiero sentir tu cuerpo besándome otra she vez. Stand on me. Which is that one? It's like uh, this. Go ahead, help us. Oh, yeah, help me. <laughs> there you go. That one's mm. When the night <laughs> is gone. Oh, thanks, man. Hell yeah. And the moon <laughs> is the <laughs> only <laughs> thing I see. <laughs> no, I won't I mean, I... be afraid. <laughs> no, I Yeah. Is this is this mic on? Hello, mic check. Yeah. Mic check? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, Joe, so good. Give it up for Joe Schmo. I tried. I tried. Joe really? Schmo. Yes. No, yeah. yeah. Very hey. cool, man. Woo! Yeah. You know thank what? You, you, this is. You. This was actually a great way to end the show tonight because what like this stand, what time. this stage is about, and what this room is about is giving people the stuff the spotlight so man i'm so glad that you were here i'm so glad you had the courage to say yeah i, I can sing and that you had the uh ability to come up and close this show out give it up one more time for joe schmo give it up for Thank five you. burritos give it up give for, it up for my, my uh father figure i never had before i got with my dad came back from the store with the milk oh.
<laughs> Love you guys. All right, yeah, yeah. everybody, point. come on up on stage. Yeah. Daddy. Yeah. Before we uh, before we all like be, like while it ends, we should all uh, get in a, a get in a group for a group chat. Let's go. I'll tell you what. Are we everybody doing a group photo? Up on right. stage. Everybody on stage. Let's do a group everybody photo. On stage. Woo. Yeah. Can, can somebody send it to me? Cause my my, my everybody on stage. Work. Are you in the feed? <laughs> we on the Facebook page. You can post it there. Everybody on stage. Sets AJ, come on. I am on the Facebook group. Hey, hey. Can everybody oh, uh, see he's, everybody? he's videoing. Jay's oh, okay. videoing. Okay. 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 Five burritos. Five burritos in the middle, because you're the headliner. You got to go in the middle. Oh, yeah. yeah. Come on over here. Burritos. Come on over, over here, here, burrito. Oh. There we go. Five burrito. No, no, right next to him. No, no. Come on. Come on, no, no. Yeah, where's Nona? What? Come here, Nona, oh, next to the headliner. Yeah, Nona. No, I don't Nona. think there's space. Right there. I don't think All right, there's space guys. up there. That's okay. There's space for Nona. That's fine. All right, hold on. Everybody yeah. look at the camera. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Aaron Sorrells, the unemployed alcoholic here. I am glad that you are finding value in what we're doing and enjoying it. Hope to see you soon at the Soapstone Comedy Club, or you can always find me at my website, theunemployedalcoholic.com. See you soon.